For three days, this was the state of Khartoum. Closed doors and shuttered businesses as protest leaders pressed a campaign of civil disobedience, an effort to push Sudan's military leaders to loosen their grip on power. Now, stalled negotiations are to start again. The Transitional Military Council has agreed to take confidence-building measures, including the release of political prisoners. Uh, the FFC, on its part, has agreed to call off the civil disobedience. Sudan is seeking a way back towards democracy after longtime leader Omar al-Bashir's ouster amid popular protest in April. However, discussion stalled late last month as agreement remained elusive over the precise makeup of a new transitional council and collapsed when paramilitary forces violently cracked down on a protest sit-in just over a week ago, leaving dozens dead and hardening civilian resolve. We don't want anything else but a civil government. We want the military council out of the government. And we need our lives back. We want a civil government and we want the people and the youth to take to the streets. The bloodshed left concern mounting on the global stage, with the United States sending its Secretary for Africa to Khartoum this week in a bid to ensure talks remain on track.